She is known for her early success as a child actress in Hollywood. She is recognized for winning the Academy Juvenile Award at the 18th Academy Awards in 1945. Her name is Peggy Ann Garner. In the vibrant world of Hollywood, there was one young star who shone brighter than the rest, Peggy Ann Garner. Born in 1932, Garner's journey as a child actress began at a tender age. She made her mark on the silver screen in 1938, captivating audiences with her undeniable talent. It was no surprise when, in 1945, at the 18th Academy Awards, Garner was honored with the prestigious Academy Juvenile Award, recognizing her remarkable contributions to the world of film. Garner's breakthrough performances in films like The Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Junior Miss solidified her status as a rising star. However, despite her early success, Garner faced challenges in transitioning to more mature roles. Even though she appeared in notable films like Black Widow, the industry struggled to see her beyond the child actress image. Undeterred, Garner turned her attention to theatrical work, showcasing her versatility and honing her craft. She later made appearances on television, starring alongside Richard Boone in an episode of Have Gun, Will Travel, in 1961. Though Garner's career may not have followed the trajectory she initially envisioned, her impact and legacy in the world of entertainment remain undeniable. Her talent and dedication to her craft continue to inspire aspiring actors and actresses. Peggy and Garner will forever be remembered as a trailblazer in the industry, a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. At the young age of 12, Peggy and Garner had already made a name for herself in Hollywood. With her natural talent and charm, she captured the hearts of audiences in films such as Jane Eyre and The Keys of the Kingdom. But it was her role in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn that truly catapulted her to stardom, earning her an Academy Juvenile Award. In this coming-of-age tale, Garner delivered a captivating performance as Francie Nolan, a young girl facing the hardships of life in Brooklyn. Her portrayal was so authentic and heartfelt that it resonated with audiences of all ages. It was clear that Garner possessed a rare talent that set her apart from other child actors of her time. Not content with being typecast, Garner sought to showcase her versatility as an actress. In 1947, she appeared as herself in a promotional trailer for Miracle on 34th Street. This light-hearted cameo demonstrated her ability to handle comedy and further endeared her to the public. However, despite her early success, Garner faced challenges as she transitioned into adult film roles. Like many child performers, she struggled to find roles that allowed her to showcase her talent and grow as an actress. Despite her undeniable talent, the film industry proved to be a difficult and competitive world for Garner. Nevertheless, Peggy and Garner's impact on Hollywood cannot be denied. Her performances as a child actress continue to be cherished by audiences today. She may not have achieved the same level of success in her adult career, but her contributions to the world of film will always be remembered. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.